to this video where Annalisa, one of my students and uh, my assistant here at the farm, she is going to be doing pony for the first time with Arwen. Uh, I'm going to be away for the next few days doing my last uh, workshop in the States. So she's going to be working my horses for me and uh, we're trying to get them started under saddle so it should be pretty interesting. I'm going to share some tips for starting pony and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So. Uh, Let's get started. All right, so Annalise is on Mr. Dreamer, and uh, I'm gonna pass her over the rope to get started. And for doing this, there's a couple safety features in mind with the rope. So to start with, if you can either dally or not dally. Dally means you can wrap the rope around the horn or not. So in the beginning, you're gonna not dally, so that way if you need to loosen the rope or something like that, you can. Now, when you go to dally, you need to make sure that you never wrap the rope around your thumb. Your thumb always stays up so you don't get pressure on your thumb and cause it to pop off. That actually can happen. The other thing is you don't want to have your rope too long or too short. You don't want to have the rope long enough that Arwen could go in front of Dreamer because that will make control extremely difficult. But you also don't want to have it so short that he's like stuck to your thigh, you want to give him a little bit of room. So probably about that length there. And if you're going to dally, you just simply go around the horn like that. And then you would hold the rope in your one hand with your thumb up on the side of the horn. And then that way, if, uh, you know, he gets, our wing gets panicked or something like that, you simply lift up and the rope comes straight off. It's not tied in any way, shape, or form. And most importantly, your thumb was up and it never got caught in the rope. Okay? So you try that. So you're going to try that. Yeah, one, two, good. And then hold with your thumb. Yeah. And so you can hold it kind of low, but as long as your thumb's on top, then you're fine. Okay? So that's a little safety feature in mind. Alright, thanks! Goes with doing ponying on Arwen for the first time. So she's just holding the rope there and she's allowing Arwen to follow, not behind Dreamer because you don't want them to be able to switch sides, but she's giving him a little bit of slack and allowing him the opportunity to kind of figure out what's going on. And usually it's easiest if you put the horse on the inside of the circle to start with to help the horse kind of figure out what they're supposed to do. So she goes around a little bit on the loose rope there. She's using a 12 foot rope, which is kind of the ideal length to be working with a horse at. And uh, the 12 foot rope we use for most of the tasks that we do in Harmony Horsemanship. And only as the horse gets more advanced do we go to the 22 foot rope for things at a further distance. But the 12 foot gives you enough rope that the horse can kind of get away if they need to. And then uh, they can be close as well without you tripping up over a lot of extra rope. So now that he's done a little bit of following behind, she's getting him to move up beside her. And we want to teach Arwen to stay kind of more at Dreamer's uh, shoulder in terms of position. So she did a fair bit of walking around work with him until he was able to follow on a loose slack kind of area. And then now she's starting to try to get him to trot. So you can see he's pulling on her a fair bit. He's not really convinced that he should uh, be doing all this work under saddle but that's one of the reasons why we're doing ponying is that so Annalise is going to be working Arwen by herself while I'm away but I want Arwen to still be developing a work ethic and still learning how to take direction from a human that's up above so this is important stuff for him to learn so you can see in the beginning how much he's pulling on her and it's kind of a fine balance of you need to kind of keep moving but not so much that uh, you're going to hurt the horse or anything like that, but he's really kind of reluctant to get going. You can kind of see how lazy he really is. So we work on that a little bit, and we use some positive reinforcement, and then here's a little quip further along that you can see how much better he's gotten at, and you can see how slack the rope is, and he's figured out where he's supposed to be, and he's following along quite nicely. And this is where it helps to have a really well-trained horse to be on that you're doing the ponying with because you, you need a horse that's very adjustable. So we need a dreamer to be able to trot slowly when Arwen was struggling. And then now when we're moving him out to try to start to ask for a canter and things, we need a horse that can canter really slowly and stop on a dime. And you can see because Arwen's you know, very reluctant to move on to the next step. 
So you need a horse that's going to be very agreeable and not get upset about any of the stuff that's going on. Especially if you're learning how to pony and it's something that's new for you, you really don't want to be worrying about the horse that you're on. So we're pretty lucky that we've got Dreamer, who is my Palomino quarter horse gelding that has starred in uh, four movies now. He's a, a pretty reliable guy. And uh, so he, we don't use any punishment or anything. We just kind of keep on going. And anytime that Arwen does good stuff, he gets a positive reinforcement. And the full video I'm going to be posting in the Connection Club. And there's a little look at how we used a jump to get his first canter strides. Because we didn't want to just pull him through the canter. Um, that's not really super protective. So instead, we used the jump to get his canter strides. And... If you want to see the full process, hop on the Connection Club, uh, go to harmonyhorsemanship.ca, uh, click Become a Student, and then go to the online school, and you'll see the Connection Club there. If you go to the Welcome tag, there's, tab, there's actually a discount code that you can use that makes it just like $10 a month. So that is Arwen's first ponying session. So now he's just going to walk out. It took us quite a while to get those first canter strides and to get him relaxed and not pulling and we didn't want to tire him to death so we only did the left side for the canner work and then next session we'll work on the right side but I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned something see you later